All right, today's going to be kind of easy. I'm just going to talk about fonts and icons, I guess. So if you right-click on your desktop and go to Change Desktop Background, and here you'll be able to change your fonts. So click on Fonts, and it's broken down to different categories. Application, Documents, uh, Desktop, and um, click on the tabs in here, and you'll be able to select the font family. So if you want to use Sans or whatever, then in the middle we'll have the style like if you want bold or light and on the far far right is size if you want to up the size or down the size but anyways I'm just going to leave it as uh, default because for me it's easy to read this way and I like it I guess so uh, let me just cancel that anyways underneath it it says rendering so if you have like an older CRT monitor uh, and not an LCD you might want to come in here and, and change these settings around to see what works best for you but I'd rather just leave it on the LCD because that's what I'm using. So let me close this off. Okay, so let's say if you want to install a new font, um, you have to download it first. So I would recommend going here first, thefont.com. It's free and they have like tons of stuff. And I use it all the time for uh, GIMP. They have like tons of graffiti and the older style and cursive and comic style and whatever. So, anyways, I downloaded one already. And it's right here. So in order to install this, open up your home folder and hold control and press H. And you're gonna need to find a dot fonts folder. And uh I don't have one, so I'm gonna make one. So right click, create folder, and name it dot F O N T S dot fonts. And where is that? Here it is. Now, what I did now was I made a, a global font folder. So let me double click it and drag the font in there. And by making this folder, any application that, that, that has the option to change its fonts, like OpenOffice or LibreOffice or uh, GIMP, they're going to see this font or whatever fonts you put in that folder. It's always a good idea to have that folder around. So uh, anyways. Let me uh, close this off. Well, let me try it out. I'm going to go to Office and go to Libra Office. All right. Now, let's see. Where's it at? Let me upsize it so you can see a little bit better. 60. All right. And I think it was called uh, Del Delta. There it is. Oop, totally misspelled it. <laughs> H E L L O. There we go. Anyways, now you kind of get the idea of it. Let me discard it. All right. Now for your icons. Okay, a good place for icons and themes and pretty much everything for your your desktop, I guess, uh, cosmetic wise, will be a GNOME look and. All these websites, and all these uh, websites I'm showing you right now, I have a, uh, you know, the links in the description down below. But anyways, I already went ahead and downloaded two icon sets, and you notice one says night and light, and usually, most, not all, but most icon sets will have like a dark variant and a light variant, and that's because you have a panel up here. Like sometimes, uh, some applications. Um, some icons, I should say, will uh, require for you to run a darker panel, and some will require for you to run a lighter panel. So that's why I got both of them. So I'm going to right click on the desktop, change the desktop background, and click on the theme tab. Now, you can just drag and drop this into here, but I ran into this problem in the past. Like sometimes the people who are making these will have like a folder within a folder, or they have some other stuff in there. So when you drag it in here, you'll get an error. Or if you have the same icon set already in there, it'll also give you an error. So it's kind of always a good idea just to uh, double check if you have the same icon set already installed, or just uh, you know extract the folder and just see what's in there. But anyways, I'm just going to drag it in and see what it does. 
So it's extracting to the uh, dot icon folder in your home folder. So I'm going to hit apply. And now my icon should look a little bit different. Let me uh, go to my home folder. All right, there we go. Well, it actually look a lot different, but uh, yeah, blue. I mean, it's nice, but it's not really what I'm into. So, anyways, is this? It was just an example. So, let's go to your theme tab right here. Go to customize. I'm gonna select a different one. So, uh, where it says icons, this is how you change it. This is how you change stuff without having to change the entire theme. I should say. So, I'm gonna select. Uh, the Finza or Finza icon theme. This particular theme is very popular nowadays. Um, I think even Linux Mint is using this now. Um, but anyways, the the way I got this theme is not through uh, just downloading. I had to install a PPA. And right now, Web Update um, has their own PPA with uh, themes themes and icons and everything so it's it's pretty good what they're doing let me see like they did a prepackaged theme I guess a kit kind of a thing you know with a with different icon colors well here they are right here different icon colors and different themes to go with it I already uh, installed them and the instructions are all right here how to install it you know just copy and paste these lines into your terminal one by one hit enter give your password you know update it install it it's really easy but anyways uh, once you have all those uh, PPAs and stuff in there installed uh, open up your software center and right here where it says get software click on the little arrow and you'll see a list of all the PPAs you've installed and theirs is called uh, I believe it's called uh, there it is theme repository and in here you'll see all the themes and the icon sets so just pick the Fenza ones you want the f <laughs> that sounded funny the Fienza Fenza whatever you want to call it uh, like blue or dark or whatever along with some of the themes to try them out so just click on those and install it and once you have them installed you know just right click on the desktop then you know select the icon set you want and uh, that's pretty much it for now that I can think about if you have any questions just feel free to ask so uh, I think after this I'm probably gonna do the Carl doc tutorial and if I do that one that's gonna be a, a long one because that one's very very involving so uh, anyways I'll see you then